Welcome back to sports. We're at Bob Warren Field where the Sycamores baseball opened their final homestand of the season. ISU will play their next seven games at Sycamore Stadium starting tonight when the Sycamores have an NBC home game against the Bradley Braves. I'm joined by ISU head coach Mitch Hannes. Coach, how nice is it to have your ace Jeff Degano on the mound? I noticed last time he pitched several MLB scouts on hand. How special is this guy? This, this guy is a guy that's come from nowhere. I was just talking to a scout down the line. His cross checker's coming in tonight. We got guys flying in from all over the country to see him. And he's a kid that obviously was injured, had to work his way back. And, and uh, he's just done a great job of putting himself not only in the mix of being our team leader, but in the mix of the, the draft. Now you're coming off one of your most exciting wins of the season, a 6-5 win and extra innings at IU, the way you did it rallying in the ninth. How much momentum can you take from that game the rest of this season? Well, I. You know, momentum is only as good as your next start on the mound, and and uh, we're going to face a good club with a good starter tonight. I, I think what you take from it is you get late in those innings, you start thinking we're going to find a way to win, as opposed to here we go, we're going to we're going to lose this game or we can't get anything going. So, I don't know about momentum, but I know from a mindset standpoint, it, it does help. Now, one guy that was certainly big for you in the IU win was senior Landon Curry playing in his 200th game at ISU. He hits that homer. He's kind of wrapping up his career. Do you see that a lot in seniors when they're wrapping up their career that, you know, they want to leave it all on the line? Well, I think Landon Curry's been a guy that's left it all on the line from the, the day he stepped in here. So, but but I think these seniors do realize, hey, we're down to the month and, and uh, our career at ISU is done. And uh, I don't know that I would have pushed a lot of chips to the middle of the table that Landon Curry would hit a home run. but. <laughs> It worked out for us, and, and he play, he's played extremely well the, the last two, three weeks. So I asked you this question about a month ago. You admitted you weren't playing the best baseball you wanted to, but you weren't playing bad. You said all along it wasn't how you started, how you finished. Seven and two in your last nine ball games. Is your ball club playing where you want them at right now? I, I don't think we're where we want to be right now. I, you know, we always envision uh, playing a little bit better. If, we, if we're using a 10 scale, I'd say we played at about a seven. You know, recently there were times where we dipped into the four range, and so I don't know that we're playing where we would like to be. But one thing I do like is is this group's handled a, a lot of different pieces and adversity and and changes in the lineup and changes at positions. I just like what they've been through and and how they've overcome that and continued to battle. Coach, best of luck tonight. The Sycamores host the Bradley Braves at 6:30. We'll have highlights of that game. Also highlights from the big Terre Haute North Terre Haute South baseball game for you tonight at 11. That